In this video, we got a gameplay on the new Dark Matter, Paulo Benchero and NBA 2K22, my team. He's going to be a 99 overall power forward center. He's six foot ten tall, which is a really good height for the power forward position. He's going to have a 96 mid range, 90, 93 three ball, 95 standing and 95, 98 driving dunk. He's also going to have a 94 ball handle and the card's going to be an amazing defender. 90 block, 94 steel, 92 perimeter with a 95 interior defense. He's also going to be super fast, 97 speed, 97 acceleration with a 96 speed with ball. Looking at the Hall of Fame badges, he's going to have 45 of them. He's going to have tons of good Hall of Fame badges like Hyper Drive, Rim Protector, Clamps, Quick Chain, Interceptor, Rebound Chaser, Blinders, Limitless Spot Up, Handles for Days, Quick First Step, Dead Eye Sniper, Mouse in the House, Bullet Passer, Fast Witch Menace, Triple Threat Juke, and Hustler. And then he's also going to have 34 gold badges as well. Ventura looks to be a very solid power forward. Now top into freestyle and test out his jump shot and animation. Looking at Banchero here in freestyle, the first thing we can notice is he does have the quick dribble style, which is obviously going to be super nice. The one thing I notice is he doesn't have a good escape. That is going to be a little bit annoying. I will say the card's movement isn't going to be the best, but for him being six foot ten at the power forward spot, I do think he'll move just fine, and he's going to be really good on defense and very good on offense. Looking at that jump shot, that jump shot's not bad at all. I don't know what base it is. That jump shot is money, man. Yeah, that jump shot is absolutely money. I cannot lie. Yeah, that's a great jump shot. Let me know what you guys think about his jumper in the comment section down below. But Paulo's also going to be really good at going to the basket. Oh, yeah. He's going to be throwing down some poster dunks. He's going to be windmilling on people. I think he's going to be really good at going to the basket, man. We are going to catch a windmill uh, poster. We have to, man. We have to catch a windmill poster in this gameplay. Okay, guys, let's green one more three and let's get on to the Benchero gameplay. Into the clutch time game here with the Dark Matter Paulo Banchero. Let me get in the pick and roll here. See what him and Dyson Daniels can do, man. Looking to go around that screen. We're going to see Paulo on the inside. Can we get the layup to go? Yes, we can. Not the prettiest basket, but we will take the two points, man. Got to get back on defense. Who is this matchup going to be for this gameplay? Got to watch it, Iguodala. It's going to be Sabonis. That's going to be a really good test to see what he can do. Because Sabonis, yeah, he's going to have the height advantage. Oh my God. Look at Banchero with the defense. Yeah, he's just going to be too small. I can't lie. So that might be a little bit of a flaw with the card is if you match against Sabonis at the four, that is definitely going to be a problem. But Sabonis doesn't have the best lateral. We should be able to take him off the dribble. We're going all the way to the basket. He's going to be able to take us on the inside. We're just going to have to abuse his Sabonis on the outside, man. We're going to have to take him off the dribble. We're just going to have to attack him going to the basket. We got to play some good defense here, though, man. Got to play good defense. Got to watch that pass inside. We are here. Good defense from the squad. I need talk to play some help defense. We are there. That's good defense, man. Look at Dyson Daniels with the defense. That's a great defensive possession as we have a two-point lead. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about Benchero? Let me know. Do you guys think he's a really good power forward? I will say the card does look a little bit underwhelming. I thought he was going to be a lot better, but it really didn't look like they gassed him up, man. We're trying to find Paulo on the inside, though. I'm telling you guys. He's going to be really, really good at going to the basket as he's got an early six points on this clutch time game. I will say, though, they made guys like Jabari Smith. They made guys like Chad Holmgren. Those guys look a lot better than Benchero. I cannot lie. So out of those like top three prospects, they did make Benchero probably the worst. I will say, though, he's still going to be a very good power forward and he still he should be relatively cheap. Good steal there from Taco Fall and we are running in transition. I want to get a three pointer here with Benchero. We're going to look to stop pop from way downtown. Was that a four? I think that was a four-pointer. Yes, it was. We take a 10-2 to two lead. Can we get the steal? Look at Benchero. He's hawking the lanes, man. He's going to get his first four-pointer on the board. I'm telling you guys, that's going to be a very, very good jump shot. Good steal there, man. Look at AJ Griffin with the steal. We're going to find Benchero at the three-point line. No way. Back-to-back -back fours. Back-to-back -back fours and we miss. Come on, man. We got to knock that down. That would have been crazy if we knocked down back-to-back four-pointers. Got to play good defense, though. Yeah, look at Taco. Look at Taco locking up, man. Great defense from Taco. My opponent is stunned. Can we grab the rebound? Yes, we can with Taco. Get the ball into the hands of Benchero, and we are running in transition. My opponent, just get him out of here, man. Just get my opponent out of here. Into the second clutch time game here with Banchero. You guys saw he played amazing in that first clutch time game. We're going to look to cook in the second clutch time game as well, man. We're trying to get to the basket. Look at Banchero going all the way. He is going to be super fast. We can't get the dunk to go. And that Mark Williams, guys, he's playing really good defense right now. I cannot lie. That Mark Williams cards actually looks to be a very, very good center. Or can he play power forward? I think he can play power forward. So that card might be a really good, a really fun card to try out. But we're doing the Paulo Benchero gameplay here, man. He had a really good first clutch time game. I think he had like 10 points, two rebounds, and one assist. Something like that. He was just amazing on both sides of the floor. That is great defense, man. Can we grab the rebound? Yes, we can. Got to see Benchero in the corner. Can we knock it down? Yes, we can. And he's going to get another three ball on the board. 
he had a four pointer in game number one and now he's got his first three pointer on game number two got to play good defense can we go for the pinch that is good defense man that is great rotation look at the rotation from the squad no way we are playing lockdown defense no way my friend can we grab the rebound manu bull is going to snag the rebound and he's going to be left wide open at the top of the key a little bit unfortunate i cannot lie probably should have got the rebound there but let's get in the pick and roll dyson daniels and banchero looking to go around that screen what can we do the banchero on the inside that's not what i wanted taco on the rebound can we find banchero at the top of the key all right slow it down I was going to say slow it down, but he got the strip seal there with Mark Williams. That's a really good matchup, though. Bench bench arrow on Mark Williams. Mark Williams actually looks to be a very, very good power forward. Good defense here, man. That is great defense. No way. Can we grab the rebound? Yes, we can with Taco Fall. And we are running in transition, man. What can bench arrow do? Give me the pick here. Come on. I got to get someone sending me a screen. We're looking to get to the basket. Little push cross. Going to find him open in the corner. He's going to foul us. Got to get the ball into the hands of bench arrow, man. Let's get a pick and roll here from our small forward. Looking to attack the basket, bench arrow. He's going to see him on the inside. And we are going to get our first. No. We're not going to get our first assist. We got to hustle back on defense. This game, we've had some really good opportunities. We should have a lot more points than we do. Good defense. Can we grab the rebound? He's going to snag that rebound. He's going to find Malik Seeley left wide open again. My opponent, he is just killing us on the offensive glass. We might have to do what we did. We might have to take my guy off the dribble, man. We might have to take my guy off the dribble. Why are you double teaming me, bro? We're going all the way, though. Look at Benchero going all the way. And Pogu is going to play good defense. And he's going to block us. I can't lie. I'm not going to cut this out, man. He's not playing good. Benchero, he's really not playing good. Can we find him on the inside, though? Benchero trying to get on the inside. Manu Bull is going to block him again. And we're going to... Yeah, man. I don't know. This Benchero card. I mean, he's a good card for sure. But if he's over 100k, I just don't know about picking him up, to be honest. If he's under 100k, though, he'll be a very good, like, kind of budget power forward. But if he's over that 100,000 MT mark, I probably would recommend staying away. Can we grab the rebound? Yes, we can with Taco Fall. And we are running in transition. What can Ben Chero do? It's just that escape, man. I feel like his movement really isn't that good on offense. I will say that's going to be his, his biggest flaw. We're going all the way, though. Okay, we can and one. Okay, Ben Chero getting a little and one layup over Malik Seely. I mean, he's going to have, what, six points now? Yeah, he's gonna have six points and one rebound he did play very good in the first clutch time game i don't know man this card it just feels very hard to score with i will say he's gonna be a really good defender but he's also gonna be undersized at that power forward position did my opponent just leave the game i think he might have just left the game i'm not sure what just happened there but yeah guys let me know in the comment section down below where do you guys think benchero ranks amongst the best power forwards in the game i would say personally i don't think he's gonna be a top five a top Definitely not a top five power forward as we're going to draw two free throws there at the line. He's 1000% not a top five power forward. Top 10 though, he could be in discussion for top 10. I think a guy like Horace Grant is just going to be better than Benchero. He's got better dribble sigs. I think his jump shot is around the same. I'll say Benchero has a little bit better def a little bit better jump shot, but their stats and badges wise, I mean, Horace Grant is a very good power forward. They're going to be the same height and wingspan as well. And Horace Grant is going to be 1000% free. If you guys are looking for a power forward and you don't like the look of Benchero, I'd probably recommend Horace Grant. Like I said, if Benchero's under 100,000 MT, he might be worth it at the power forward spot. If he's over 100,000 MT, I would definitely stay away. Unless you guys are maybe like a massive Duke fan, then I understand why you'd want him. But good defense here from Paulo. I mean, that's good defense, man. Can we grab the rebound? We are just getting killed on the offensive glass. Like that wasn't even like my fault. That was just Taco Fall knocking the rebound. Pretty good defense there on his Dyson Daniels. We're going to grab the rebound and we are running in transition. Got a pump fake. What the hell was that? Wait, what? I tried to make a pass. What was that? Why the hell did he throw that bounce pass? What the hell is going on right now, man? I don't know what the hell is going on. We only got six points on this game. Down by one now. I don't know, guys. I just really don't like this Benchero card. Maybe I'm using him wrong. Maybe he's got to maybe he's got to be used in the pick and roll more. I am trying to like, you know, use him as the ball handler. Maybe he's just better at setting screens and like getting to the basket. Can we pull up from there? I mean, that'd be kind of crazy. I didn't really expect that to go in. But yeah, we're down by three points here. I mean, we can still come back in this game. Just got to play good defense, man. We have just got to play good defense. Can we go for the pinch? We are there. Good defense. That's good rotation there from Taco Fall. We got to lock up, man. Only three seconds left. No way. He just crabbed us. That Dyson Daniel cards actually look to be really good. Yeah, guys, we play terrible in this game. I cannot lie, bro. I mean, my opponent, he's not bad too. My opponent's actually very solid at the game, but we've played terrible. Like we have played so bad. Benchero left wide open. Okay, we finally create some space. 
and we're gonna get Benchero's second three on the ball game. Okay, guys, so that's gonna do it for the Benchero gameplay. I will say, like, I just did not like that card at all. I just didn't really want to use him. He just didn't feel that good of a power for it. I think Horace Grant is better. There's a bunch of better power for it options, but let me know. Maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe you guys think he's a really good card. Let me know in the comment section down below, though. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the gameplay. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.